Greetings, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. May peace be with you. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, we read, Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. God calls us to be his light in all circumstances, sharing our testimonies to reveal Jesus' light to those in darkness. The testimony I am about to share is a true story from my dear sister in China. I have not added anything to it. All glory goes to our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have a similar testimony and feel led to share, please email your story to amuga.please at gmail.com. Now, let's begin our story. I came to embrace Christianity through a colleague who introduced me to Christ. In the initial years of my walk with God, my routine involved attending church, joining fellowship meetings, singing worship songs, and striving to do good deeds. It was a simple faith journey without much fanfare. In 2010, I was diagnosed with an extremely rare blood disease. Despite visiting three hospitals and seeking treatment from reputed doctors in my town, there was no cure in sight. The prognosis was grim. I was given just three months to live. Doctors explained that my blood would cease to produce red blood cells, leaving me with little hope. Weak and barely able to stand, I was admitted to the hospital near my home. There, I was sustained with vitamins and intravenous fluids. As my condition deteriorated, every day I heard the heartbreaking cries of my daughter and husband by my bedside, pleading for a miracle. I felt abandoned to my fate, with doctors unable to offer any more than palliative care. Meanwhile, my church pastor and fellow believers rallied in prayer for my healing and a divine intervention. Amidst my doubts and fears about whether God could heal me, I found peace in prayer and worship, holding on to Jesus Christ as my only source of comfort. One day, a nurse came to change my IV and discovered that my blood veins had collapsed. Desperate and nearing the end, I began to pray fervently. As I sang worship songs and prayed with my hands folded in front of me, an extraordinary event unfolded. Doctors tried in vain to separate my hands, which had locked together in what appeared to be a cross formation. Amidst this scene, I felt a radiant warmth and saw a bright light filling my vision. In that moment, all medical staff seemed to disappear, replaced by a comforting, luminous figure standing beside my bed. Dressed in a white robe with a red sash, I knew instinctively that it was Jesus. His presence brought me overwhelming peace and security. I asked him whether he had come to save me or to take me away. With a reassuring voice, he replied, Daughter, I am here to renew you. I felt his warm hands on mine, and a calming sensation enveloped my entire being. When I opened my eyes again, I saw my daughter, husband, and doctors standing around me in awe. They exclaimed urgently that my blood flow had returned, a miraculous turn of events. After a few hours of rest, I recovered completely. Two days later, I was discharged from the hospital. Medical professionals were baffled. They could find no trace of the blood disorder that had threatened my life just days before. Though they were not believers themselves, they witnessed the miracle of Jesus through my healing. Since then, I have lived without any recurrence of my blood condition. I joyfully share my experience with everyone I meet, testifying that it is solely because of Jesus that I am alive today. He has granted me a second chance at life, and I am determined to live it fully for him. Oh.